Welcome back to another video uh, here in the dyno room at Parkit Dyno and Suspension. And today's is this little beauty, this Ducati 1299. Um, beauty, bastard to work on, but stunning to look at. So um, this came into us. Um, we did some base runs uh, and measured 179 point something, something, something. So let's round it up. We'll call it 180 um, at full power. Uh, running very rich as well, these, these bikes. Uh, that we've seen, the 1199, 1299, both seem to have quite rich traces, uh, and we want to adjust that with various other elements. Uh, but this one uh, has made phenomenal power, we'll come to that in a minute, but has a full termy system on her, uh, along with a nice free-flowing K&N uh, race filter as well. Uh, the performance gains, phenomenal. We've gained a chunk of change below 5,000, next to nothing if I'm honest for the next 1500 rpm and then after that it absolutely launches um, been on dyno five six hours worth of mapping uh, just to try and get the best out of every throttle position we've revised uh, ignition maps revised throttle mapping uh, revised fuel mapping uh, all of those elements um, and this bike here has performed and made a staggering 196 brake horsepower and 100 foot pounds of torque at the back wheel so yeah, you did hear that right, folks. That is a 16 horsepower increase over stock. Obviously, some of it's gonna be in this exhaust. Uh, we've not done a stock mapped bike, so I don't have a comparison for that, but clearly this has responded massively. Um, the owner's due to pick it up. Hopefully he'll pop a review on one's ridden uh, with all the things that should bring this bike alive uh, and make it phenomenal. Um, we use Woolwich Racing software uh, for these machines. So if you're in the market uh, with a uh, 959, 859, uh, 1199, 1299, Multistrada, and even the Deval, uh, they're all bikes that we can map here at the shop. Uh, custom maps built here on our Dynajet 250i uh, Dyno. Now, let's do the bit that everyone wants to always hear. Let's go see the runs. <laughs> 